Welcome to the world of amazing animal builders. Hi, Henry. Planning something? Sure am. And it'll be fantabulous. Okay, guys, start them up. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Keep those tractors rolling. Don't just stand there. Get those feathers moving. We're burning daylight. Henry, you're not the only animal that knows how to build. There are many amazing animal builders. You could learn a lot from them. No time. Out of my way. Henry, these animals are all expert builders. Why not ask them for a little advice? Yeah, right. Henry, what these animals can build will really amaze you. Listen, I'd love to chat with your friends, but... But? But I've got work to do. Dig them up! Back them up! Okay, Mac! All kinds of animal builders construct all types of homes in all kinds of conditions. If you don't build a home, you can find yourself left out in the cold. Excuse me, I know that. Animals who build homes have somewhere to keep dry and warm. That's why so many creatures, from tiny insects to large mammals, are animal builders. Everyone needs somewhere to call home. And somewhere to have babies. Homes are for families, too. That's right, Henry. Even this jawfish built a home. Gesundheit! Who's moving in here? Bats, Henry. Bats? As in vampires? No, as in tent-making bats from Central America. Excuse me! Tent-making bats? That's amazing! They use their teeth to nibble the middle of a leaf so that it curls in on itself like a tent. Sure they're not Boy Scout bats! These tents are where the bats sleep during the day until it's time for them to go hunting at night. Lots of animals dig into the ground to make their homes, like this hog-nosed snake. Hey, Henry, I'm trying to explain about burrowing animals here. Henry, are you listening to me? Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Who wants to know? Hey, this could be my new home. You better check it out first. It might be occupied. Ah, looks like someone did get here first. Sorry to drop in without an invitation, but I was in the neighborhood. Hey, nice burrow you got here. Lots of cross traffic, though. Lots of animals, like rabbits, moles, and prairie dogs, dig burrows to live in. They have extra tough front claws to use as digging tools. I can dig it! Prairie dogs don't just dig homes, they dig entire cities. A diggity dog! Here on the surface, you can only see a few prairie dogs, but they're guarding the entrances to an underground prairie dog town. How many dogs are down there? There can be thousands, even more. Excuse me, that's amazing! Last century, some of the great prairie dog towns in North America had up to five million inhabitants. Five million? San Francisco hasn't got that many people! Yikes! A rattlesnake! Don't worry, the lookouts call out the alarm to their neighbors. Talk about neighborhood watch! Prairie dogs have a complicated burrow system, so the rattlesnake can never catch them. Here's another burrowing rodent. He's busy as a you-know-what extending his home. Is he a beaver? Yes, an American mountain beaver, to be precise. I do love it when you're precise. This animal architect builds different rooms for different activities. There's a dining room for eating, a room for storing food, and a bedroom for sleeping. That's amazing! Leave it to Beaver! Okay, guys, take it away!
Let's get moving! Come on! Animals use a variety of materials to construct their homes. Bricks and cement, that's what I always use. That's what everybody should build with. <laughs> For human houses, bricks are great. But animals use whatever they can get for building materials. Is that so? This I gotta see. What kind of house is this? The roof's full of holes and the location's all wrong. And it's made of paper. Paper? You're kidding. Doesn't look like paper to me. It's made from wood pulp, the raw material that makes paper. The wasps' tiny mouths chew the wood and mix it with their saliva. Saliva? You mean spit? Yeah, Henry. The end result is that the nest is very light, but very strong. Some are bigger than a basketball. Mm, maybe we should poke our noses inside for a closer look. I wouldn't recommend that. Wasps are very protective of their home, and they pack a painful sting. <laughs> okay, I won't be a buzzy buddy. These birds have found an even stronger building material. Mud. Martins used to build their nests on cliffs, but now they prefer nesting on houses. That's why they're called house martins. A house martin will make hundreds of trips to finish the nest. When the mud dries out, it gets hard. Hard? Like concrete? Just like concrete. Amazing animal concrete. But even animal homes built with strong materials, like this termite mound, can be at risk from hungry home wreckers. How rude! But the soldier termites protect the mound and launch an attack. Retreat! Hello. Now the worker termites will come out to repair their home by chewing dirt and mixing it with their saliva. Saliva? You mean more spit? Yes, Henry. The saliva and dirt make a quick drying mud. There's a lot to be done. The fierce soldier termites protect them while they work. Once more! While the soldiers keep fighting the good fight, the workers keep on with their rebuilding. Many termites make light work. It's a proverb. Once the mud is dry, the termites' mound will be just as strong as it was before. Wow! Amazing animal fortresses! All this building is tiring me out. Time for a break! And now, Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best amazing animal builder! Third place bronze medal goes to the Mexican burrowing toad, who can hide by digging backwards and be totally covered in soil in just seconds. Second place silver goes to the jawfish. He actually uses his great big mouth to build his home. Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best amazing animal builder goes to the Woodpecker! These guys have a specially hardened skull and cushioning around their brain to protect them while they do this hammering stuff. If they peck hard enough and long enough, hey, presto, instant house! They also peck away looking for food. They peck through trees, and cactus, which is softer, and it takes less work to build a house. So it makes for faster building and a quicker house. And when the woodpecker moves on, there's a ready-made home for other birds and animals to move into. The woodpecker, my all-time best amazing animal builder. Back to work already, Henry? Huh? Watch where you're going.
Some animals are into big time building. They build large. They build impressive. Ta-da! Like me. This is my castle. I'm King Henry. I like the sound of that. It sounds strong, invincible. Uh, King Henry, I've got a funny feeling. Something's about to... Timber! Oops. And I never got to cross my lovely moat. Oh. I'm sure the beaver didn't do it on purpose, Henry. Hasn't he got anything better to do? He was probably just keeping busy doing his own building work. The beavers cleverly build dams so that the entrance to their lodge is hidden underwater. This keeps them safe from predators. Beaver dams can be half a football field long and they need constant attention. But often it's an upstream battle to keep the dam together. Here's another busy builder, but this one builds with leaves. It's just a bird. Birds only make little nests. Not this one, not the brush turkey. It can spend all year building a nest of rotting leaves that's longer than a school bus. He won't be a cold turkey with a nest that big. It's not for him, Henry. The warmth from the rotting leaves incubates the female brush turkey's eggs. It's the perfect place for babies to be born. Oh, 